My next guest is encouraging people living with dementia and their carers to get involved with music and create playlists this Christmas. Evidence suggests that listening to music with a personal connection has huge benefits for people living with dementia. Uh, well, my guest is Lauren Laverne, who knows a thing or two about music, and she is the ambassador for Music for Dementia. Lauren, hello. Hello. Um, this is a lovely story to be talking about in terms of a positive message about dementia. And we talk about research showing uh, the positive impacts on people living with dementia. It's backed up by science, isn't it? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I think we all have an instinctive understanding that music is good for us. You know, it can be can be very beneficial, but actually there's a lot of clinical evidence that shows, an increasing amount of clinical evidence that shows that it's incredibly helpful for people with dementia. So um, very specific things, symptoms that are very common for people who are living with dementia, like agitation and anxiety, music can, um, directly benefit those and, and reduce those. Sometimes it can, uh, you know, create a need for less medical intervention, you know, instead of kind of having to take tablets for those things, um, music can can help. And as you say, you know, there's there's research all the time that, that shows an increasing amount of ways that it can it can be used in the fight against dementia. Yeah, it, it's those around them as well it helps. I'm thinking about the carers and the families who are also living with dementia. It can be a huge benefit to their well-being as well. Exactly. I mean, what a stressful situation to be in. And so many people who are in that situation, talking about 850,000 people right now who are living with dementia in the UK it'll be a million by 2025 so then you add to that the second ripple out which is all of those kind of carers and family members who are living with that person and supporting them and of course you know music's so beneficial and this idea of making playlists together mm. is a lovely thing because actually one of the difficulties that you have when you're you know living with something like dementia is that ability to connect mm. sometimes that can be robbed by you know the illness can kind of take that away um, so actually the fact that you can experience music together share it you know that that can kind of last for a really long time and, and be a wonderful thing to share with your loved one and this is something you've actually done yourself you've got a personal connection to this because this is something you did with your dad before he died last year That's what right. was that experience like as a father daughter um experience yeah no it was lovely so my dad had kidney disease so it's a, a little bit different but certainly you know having the ability to use music as part of his care at the end of his life was massively powerful and for both of us i mean actually i wasn't thinking about the benefits that it might have for me or for, for my mum who was caring for him but you know when we first started working on that playlist by the end of the day at the beginning of the day i'd felt so kind of desperate and unhappy and thought right i'm going to do this because it's the, it's what i do for a living it's the only thing i could think of to do by the end of the day you know we'd had some kind of fantastic moments like laughing about certain memories and him having a little dance along to a couple of tracks you know with his, his hand like that <laughs> and and my mum was in the kitchen you know dancing to Stevie Wonder and actually we'd started off that day just feeling awful and terrible and it, it really helped and obviously you know anyone who's lived with someone with a serious health condition mm. understands that day to day there's so much to think about isn't there you're thinking about how, what have they had to drink what have they had to eat have they slept how are they feeling you're responding to all those kind of very urgent uh, issues but music is something that's really important and actually if we hadn't thought of doing that on that day then you know we, we might never have had those experiences so it's it's that kind of thing where just remember to kind of have this on your list if you can do it with your loved one while they're well enough it can be massively powerful and now for me now that my dad is gone the playlist is still there you know and when I listen to it it's it's as kind of close as I can feel to him to spend time with his music what are some of the favorite tracks on there oh man I mean bit <laughs> everything he's a massive music nerd my dad but a bit of Steely Dan, a bit of Bob Dylan, you know, some kind of great folk, like classic blues. And you're still adding to it. And yeah. that's a great way of continuing his memory and legacy. Every now and again, I'll be like, oh my God, I can't believe we forgot to put that <laughs> Linux track on. Then I'll stick that on there. So that's really lovely. It's interesting, isn't it? Because obviously you present Desert Island Discs and that whole show is based on how pieces of music and songs can take you back to a certain time and evoke memories. Um, so, you know, working through this playlist with somebody living with dementia, carers, extended family and friends will no doubt bring out stories that perhaps haven't been told before. Exactly. It's all that kind of stuff. You know, it's the stuff of life. You think about all the big moments in our lives. They're always soundtracked by music. You know, whether you think about a wedding, a birthday party, music festivals, those are the times that we kind of come together and have really important life experiences. So as you say, like a perfect opportunity to share those kind of memories and stories 
And then also sometimes just the idea of sitting with someone and listening to something together mm. when you can't do other things, you know, you might not be able to have the conversation mm. that you used to have, but actually you can sh still share something. And that's, that's really powerful. Yeah, dementia affects more than 850,000 people in the UK every year, set to reach a million by 2025. Um, as ambassador for Music for Dementia, um, obviously when we talk about playlist, a lot of people go, oh, I've got no idea how to Computers create a playlist. don't like it. Yeah, oh, not yeah. sure about that. Uh, I even struggle sometimes. Um, but you've come out with a handy guide. Where can people find information about that? And they can make find it nice and easy. Exactly. We are making it really easy. All sorts of how-to guides on the Music for Dementia 2020 website. So that's musicfordementia2020.com. Lauren, really good to talk to you. Thank you very much. A uh, positive story about uh, living with dementia and what everybody can do to make life that little bit easier. Of course, always more poignant in the build-up to Christmas and the new year. Thank you, Lauren.